Hello, I'm Richard from Tyne Valley Aquatics and in this video I shall do a review of the Oase Aquamax filter pump. Oase have been manufacturing the Aquamax range now for 12 to 15 years and they just keep getting better and better. This is the latest one, this is an eco model, very low running costs, excellent muck shifting capability. Um, they are called filter pumps but they don't actually filter the water. The prime purpose is to pump muck from the pond into a filter. This is the pump here. Lovely big cage, nice big holes. Each hole is approximately 10 millimeters diameter so anything that goes through here will get pumped up to your filter. Because it draws from such a large area there's no one place on the cage where it sucks really vigorously. Therefore wildlife tend not to get sucked into this design. You'll notice in this design there's two pipes coming out of here. One is an inlet, which is that one, which can be capped off. One is an outlet. Basically the pump sucks from here and also from here. This allows you to draw from two places at the same time on the bottom of your pond. So say you had a long banana shaped pond or a long canal or something, you want it to draw from one end and also the other end, you can with this pump. You can get like a smaller version of this cage which would attach to this inlet via a piece of pipe and you can set this to draw 75% through here, 50%, 25% or nothing. This inlet can also be attached to a skimmer, so you can actually suck water from the top of your pond, you know, taking all the scum and muck, uneaten food, leaves and all that stuff off, and at the same time you can draw from the bottom of your pond as well. So say you set it 50-50, 50% of the water will be drawn off the top, 50% off the bottom. In the winter, if you didn't want to disturb the relatively warm water in the bottom of your pond, you set this to your skimmer to draw 100% off the top of the water so that the bottom part of the water stays relatively warm. As far as what pipe work to attach to the outlet goes and also to the inlet, we recommend using as big a hose as possible. Therefore you'll get the full volume of water being expelled from the pump without the pressure. Ultimately you'll get more water coming down your cascade or more water being pushed through your filter. The Aquamax range carries a five year guarantee and I've used them for years. I think, count the breakdowns and probably is on one hand and I've put dozens and dozens in. A lot of the time I go out, say if someone has a problem, oh my pump's not working, it's not pumping enough. They've left it in the bottom, they haven't looked at it for years and it's ridiculously clogged inside and out with muck. Clean it out. Straight away, it's as good as new. The running costs on these are really low. Even the 16,000 version, which pumps roughly 3,300 gallons an hour, um, is only 170 watts, which at today's prices is about 170 pound a year, which for a big pump is pretty good. They do cost more to buy than a lot of um, pond pumps, but they cost a lot less to run. So long term, they actually cost a heck of a lot less to have in your pond than say a cheap sump pump from a DIY merchant. If your pump is gonna last at the very least five years for the guarantee, you're gonna save a heck of a lot of money in running costs.